Welcome back ladies and gents to my latest episode of the Toy Dungeon SA and today I've got an unexpected episode that I just decided to do I was going through my cupboard sorting out a few things and what do you know I found some old figures that are still in boxes some are older than others some are from the first few videos I ever made so let's just open them up and have some fun so the first box I'm gonna open now is a Gormiti box. I don't know much about this toy. I got this toy when I first got it about just under three years ago in some garage sale type of thing going on. It happens every Saturday and I don't know this at all. It's some sort of playset with the eagle and some figure that's all I can see and if I read it the back here it includes peak of the eagle playset one community character and a collector's poster. Very strange, very weird. It's been lying in my cupboard for so long. A lot of funny stuff and dust. And the box is broken. So I decided I'm going to unbox it. And I think it came out in 1997. I'm not sure, there's just a punch mark at the bottom here. Most of it's in another language. Brand that's on here at the back that says Giochi Prestosi. And I don't know, that sounds like Italy to me. But nonetheless, crazy stuff. Let's just open it and check it out. Yeah, I've opened the box of the Bimiti and just checking everything out. It's such a weird playset. Going through and playing with this, I don't know, eagle mountain type of thing. Crazy thing is if you touch a tongue, bite your finger. Which is really cool and strange. I don't know if this is a part of the playset. I found this figure like this. I don't know if it's going to shoot him. But messing around with this thing, if you push this button, it's like a catapult. So I tried shooting this dude and it doesn't really work. <laughs> Maybe the spring is just a little bit tired after so many years being compressed like that. I don't know if this has got something to do with it. But the coolest thing for me is this poster because this is like a playset for the eagle. But if you turn it around, it's for me to poster, which is really cool. Look inside just get the box you look at this that would be a really cool display piece it looks so weird and strange I love it if I can find one like that I'll keep that but this uh, it's okay it's not bad but very strange very strange play set I've never seen anything like this so let's get to the next figure so the next figure that I found is Redakai I have no idea what this is apparently there's cards in there and it's from 2011 and unfortunately the the clamshell is starting to come off but from 2011 till 2021 it still works and it's got some 3d type of action going on in there i know nothing about these toys this is like some of the first toys that i picked up in that same place that i got the committee so let's unbox it and check what's going on inside here Okay, so I've opened the box of the ready car. Yes, the figure and it's kind of interesting when I read the little manual Character's name pretty sure it's Brudicon and when I turn it around the instruction manual well, It says you must take this card and slide it in the back here See this piece of plastic slide it out 
Nein. And slide it in. That. And you must push the button. It says for some 3D action. I don't know. You see, uh, looks like the batch is again flat again. But anyway, there's a little place where you can open it up with a screwdriver and put in those little batteries. Here's a little laser that goes into the hole here where the light shines out, so it illuminates that laser. But I see the battery is totally flat now. <laughs> from 2011 till now but anyway crazy stuff weird 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 toy i have no idea from where it is or if there's a cartoon about it so let's get to the next figure so these two figures that i'm going to do at the same time are my savage world thundercats by funko these figures came out 2019 this is some of wave two so this figure is Tigra. I do not have a vintage one of him and this one is Jackal Man and I do have a vintage of him. I really like these figures. I've got nearly all of Wave 1. I've got some of the LJN figures from 1985 but the thing about Funko is they've got a lot of cool stuff and I don't see a lot of Funko's other products such as Primal Age, Mortal Kombat, and there's so many other cool action figures that they make. Most of the time, all I find here is pops, which is a big bummer for me. I really like the 5.5 scale that they focus on, and I hope to see much more of them. So, these things have been lying, collecting so much dust. I'm gonna take them out and add them to my display. So yeah, they are unboxed and I'm very happy and I got so excited unboxing them. The Jekyll Man looks totally different to the vintage one, even the shape of the body and the head. I love it. I think it's awesome. Let me take the weapon out. The weapon I've noticed is different. As far as I know, he's supposed to have a club, not a axe, but nonetheless, let's put the axe in, see how it looks loose fit though and looks so different to the vintage one but I love it uh, I like the Funko Thundercat line and I like the Mortal Kombat line and I'd really like to get those horror figs that they also make for Freddy, Jason and this Tiger uh, getting his whip out there we go and it's beautiful it looks very cool very bendable plastic, put it in his hand, a tight squeeze, dang. But there we go, looks very cool, love it, it's awesome, it's about time I opened these toys up, it's been a year that they've been sitting in the cupboard, now I've got these at Smallville in Alberton, I'm shorting three, and then I've got all of them from Wave 1 and 2 from Funko. I'm very happy with these and I'm glad I've taken them out so I can put them on my display. So let's go to the next figure. So now these two I got to the same year 2019. This one I got at Comic Warehouse in Edenvale, Swamp Thing by DC Icons. And this is Azarel. And this one I got at Comic Con. And my buddy Ian took me there and we had a blast. It was crazy i never experienced anything like that so let's get down to it and take these things out and see what it's all about
for those that know me and know my show and know what I normally do, know that I'm a huge He-Man fan and Thundercats and all the toys of those lines. I like superheroes like anybody else likes superheroes, but I'm not so crazy about it. But if I see something that's striking and that pulls my attention, I will buy it. So like this Swamp Thing, I remember I was watching the new series that came out at the time and when I went to Comic Warehouse there in Edenvale, it caught my eye and I bought it because I was thoroughly enjoying that series. I haven't even checked up to see if there's a season 2 out. But anyway, it comes with another character. It rings a bell somewhere, I've seen this somewhere. Such a disgusting looking thing, a head on a hand, no hair. It was I don't know if it's brain or something else hanging at the back there but so weird so strange I guess that's one of the reasons why I bought it and it comes with two hands open hands where you can see he has clenched fists very cool detail very scary looking toy that's why I got it moving on to Batman Arkham Knights I've got your Azorel looks like a Knights Templar I don't really know the story but it looks freaking awesome with the leather at the back here with the soft plastic coming on to the way the boots look with the with the scratched and damaged look it's awesome and looks so freaking mean unbelievable and I'm actually glad to take these things out again can't wait to put them on my display but anyway cool stuff now we're going on to our second last figure of the night and let's go check it out so this box is very interesting to me and thinking about opening for a long time I never got around to doing it this is plasma dragons by mega blocks I just found it at the same place I found the Gormiti it's got pictures of orcs and knights and warriors on it and it's so weird I don't know it's from 2007 so let's open it up and build it and see what this is all about very strange and interesting guys and welcome back and today I'm gonna to review my cat her name is baby and she's very naughty no I like come baby this is shooting a movie let's go come baby so where were we last night oh yes we were busy with the plasma dragons so let me get them and pack them out and carry on with the show so here's the plasma dragons all laid out for you guys and this is actually a Battle Realm Booster Pack. When I opened the box up and checked everything out, I realized it's actually a game and you has your cards with all your stats. I've only got three cards, so it's three character stats. And I've got two good guys and six bad guys. So I don't really have enough people to play the game. Because you actually need a dragon and another person and it has to be like two players. So, it's a bit of a bummer. I was actually kind of curious about it, but now that I've opened it, there's just going to be extra little minis that are going to be standing on my shelf. But anyway, glad I finished with it. Uh, strange. Very strange. Now looking at the last figure, I don't really want to unbox it. This is my Slash from 2020 by NECA. I've got this in Joburg at Smallville. My buddy Thomas took me there. 
awesome place and I'm a big fan of Slash from the TMNT. I've never had a vintage one, but when I saw this one, I had to take it. I don't really want to unbox it, but I must. So let's do it. my slash unboxed for the first time in over a year and I really wanted to do this for a long time I love the armor I love the way that he's made I love the evil look of the turtle or terrapin or whatever he is only thing about this figure joints are so tight and I'm too scared to bend them just can't break it but anyway I just need to get a hair dryer loosen them up love it all the spikes the crooked sword the claws I even love the storyline of Slash from the TMNT it's actually Donatello's pet who got mutated and then later on he went to Dimension X and came back totally different awesome stuff get a grenade and a sword with it even the feet rock I love it it's awesome and they made it to look like the character in the TMNT game, Turtles in Time, where he's a bad guy, and like in the game, the shadowing is done with a pixelated look. If you look carefully, it's, it's not shading, it's more like pixels from a TV game, which is still awesome. Awesome figure, love it. The only bummer about this toy for me is that I wish they would have put a binky in but I know myself and I will make him a binky I've got a couple of episodes of making things for my action figures coming up soon so yeah happy about this toy happy to have him and play with him now and glad to put it on my shelf now and there we go so that brings us to the end of this episode where I unbox all a mixed mashup of action figures and toys that have just been lying gathering dust in my cupboard. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you did support me and those who support me by subscribing, hitting that like button, leave a comment if you want and have a great day. Till next time. Cheers.